Hey ho there friends and neighbors, Bobby here today. Hey folks, today we are going to find out if these tumblers are bulletproof or not. We're down here at my dad's house. We got them all set up. We got an Ozark Trail here, 30 ounce tumbler. We have a real Yeti that we're going to also shoot. And we also have a fake Yeti. Now we are going to shoot these with a couple different types of guns and to find out if these things are bulletproof. So let's get started. First of all, friends, my daughter here today will be using the Red Rider BB gun to see if the Yetis are actually bulletproof or the tumblers. So let's get started, young teenage girl. All right, which one was that, the Ozark, that Ozark Trail? Trail? Okay. Now, which one are you getting ready to shoot? The real Yeti. The real Yeti, folks. All right, good shot. One more to go. Now for the fake Yeti. Awesome. The change, you filthy animal. Okay, folks, hey, looks like right here on the fake Yeti, there is a dimple right here in the side of the uh, tumbler. And on the real Yeti, it looked like it tore the paper right there. It kind of ricocheted off of it. And yes, it does feel like it's got a little dent right there. And on the Ozark Trail, also right here, there is a tear in the paper. And it feels like there is a little indention. But you can also safely say that if someone comes after you with a Red Rider BB gun, and you got these things strapped to your body for protection, you should be safe. You should be bulletproof. Okay, friends, now we're going to use a little bit larger gun. I have a 357 Magnum here that we have loaded with 38s today. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the fake Yeti. And yes, I believe I hit it. <laughs> we're going to try now with the real Yeti. We're gonna shoot it. And now for the Ozark Trail. Okay, friends, let's go over and take a look, see what kind of damage we got. Okay, friends, hey, here we go. It looks like my shooting wasn't too good here on the fake Yeti. I actually hit right here at the very top. It ducked. But it, yeah, it ducked. <laughs> <laughs> it tried to get out of the way, but it did uh, totally destroy the lid. So there you go. I believe we actually might be able to still use this one to drink out of, maybe. Um, here is the real Yeti. Which side did it go in? Actually, the bullet went through on this side and come out on this side. Okay. So there we go. That's the real Yeti. And for the Ozark Trail, wow. Went through right here on the side and come out right through there. All right. So now, friends, I'm going to turn these this way. Cause we got one more gun we're gonna try out here in just a minute. Okay friends, I wanna introduce my dad here today. This is Mint Hill Dad. He's a former police officer and Vietnam veteran. He will be shooting it today with a Smith & Wesson 40 caliber. So let's get this done. Go ahead, Mint Hill Dad. Need a new dog. I got a dog. <laughs> All right, friends, let's go check out the damage. That there tried to jump this time. <laughs> It wasn't going for that duck and it tried to yeah, jump out of the way. Yeah, boy, it sure did. Went right in, come right out, friends. There we go. Yep. This one here, that was a nice shot right there in the center, Dad. In and out, out on that side. Nice clean shot. And the Ozark Trail, in and out here, I believe, on this one here. Mm -hmm. Okay, friends. Now, my conclusion <laughs> from this uh, shooting test here is that these 30 ounce stainless steel tumblers are not bulletproof, okay? 
So do not strap these things to yourself <laughs> thinking that you're going to be like 10 foot tall and bulletproof or what have you. So uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed our video today. Hope you found it informational and fun. Don't forget to subscribe, tell a friend about us, and do not do this at home. Do not go out and try to do this. We are somewhat professional. So anyway, have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Take care.